unless somebody like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing's going to get better. It's not. Science is clear, it's been clear for decades. What matters is not just what we take out of the forest, but also what we leave behind. For four years, I worked in the timber extraction and sawmilling industry, and so I know how important that industry is to Northern British Columbia and to the people that live here. But one of the things that's happening in Northern BC is that we've seen a, a decline in moose populations by about 50 to 70%. And when we ask biologists and managers what the reason for that is, the top reason that they cite is habitat degradation. Moose are primarily a forest dwelling species, and in order for them to grow their populations, they need to have a healthy mix of browse and cover. If you knock down all of the mature deciduous plants when you're doing your clear cut, you take away the opportunity for moose to do this, bark stripping. This is a really important nutrient source for moose. You can see here that there are a lot of stumps from willows that have re-sprouted, and they've grown this great browse that moose are using all winter long. The logging that was done here was the partial cutting system, which kept in mind that there are animals around and that there's habitat for them. If you want to have biodiversity, you have to leave forests intact. We simply need to follow the science and just do it. <laughs>